Okay, this is take two of my video. I uh, tried it earlier and I made a great video on, a, on my camera, but it's taken too load, long to load, so this will be quicker. So this is our heated greenhouse. This is our uh, peppers here, bell peppers, that will be going out. And then we have our Roma tomatoes, um, which look like they might need some water. I have this fan blowing on them to kind of strengthen them up so they they lose a lot of water. Um, and then we have some more tomatoes. These are our uh, our main season tomatoes. They're called Valley Girl. Um, and then we got some hot peppers, hot peppers, hot peppers, and a few more tomatoes over here. Um, and our banana peppers here. These will all get planted out eh, probably May 5th or you know May 5th to May 20th probably um, over here these are some plants that early on got a little frost damage um, they usually are pretty good but they weren't hardened off I guess and they didn't like that um, then we have some tomatoes here some big tomatoes I put in pots um, they uh, there wasn't enough room at the end of the row for them in the big high tunnel so they live in here now um, <clears throat> well, we got some little eggplant seedlings here, and some more tomatoes, and, uh, I guess these are a few more little peppers. Um, so let's go outside to the main garden and walk around and talk about that. So, <clears throat> we'll get over here. Um, yesterday we did a lot of cultivating um, got two more rows of potatoes planted directly in front of us here um, and there's another row where we uh, had some seed left and then you know the last little bit of seed in each uh, bag so we just put them all out in that one row um, so here we go we've got some um, English peas. All right, we've got a row of English peas over a little further too. These are going to be the diacon radish. Um, then these are some ping pong radishes. Uh, these are like little ping pongs. They're white, round, little radishes. Um, and we get out a little farther, and it switches over. Well. We got out a little further, and we got, um, this is our lettuce mix here, growing in here. <clears throat> so we'll have a bunch of that. Um, let's go over here, we got some uh, spinach. We got a whole long row of spinach here that goes to the front and to the back. Um, you can see it's starting to get its true leaves here. Um, Let's see, here we've got, these are beets, these are beets right here, oh these little beets, all through this row, um, here's some more of those uh, English peas, um, and the beets are down next to us here, and then we go into some collards, I believe that's the collards there, I don't have my, my cheat sheet with me to Say what everything is but I'm pretty sure these were the the collards in this row here I'll zoom in on them so you, you can see it's hard to see them since they're so small still but we've got them all over this row and that is good um, let's look over here now we got what do we got these onions here we have one two three four rows of onions and we just have some more onions in the greenhouse there to plant. So, where are we now? Um, these were some actual, that's, that's probably from last year. Some kale, probably coming up as a volunteer. But here's some potatoes. We've got some potatoes here. Um, there's two rows of potatoes here. There's two that we planted, and we already saw where we planted them. 
um, yesterday. And then these ones we planted at the beginning of the month. There's a row of Yukon Gold, and I believe it's a row of red ones. Um, I have to double check. So these are our deer tongue lettuce. These are really neat. Um, it's an heirloom romaine type. The leaves are shaped like a deer's tongue. Um, so they're pretty neat. Um, then we got fennel coming up right here. We got some fennel here. So we got a bunch of that in. Um, this is a uh, Fenberg lettuce. The Fenberg is a little bit thicker leaf than the um, deer tongue. Um, so we've got quite a few of those. These are uh, Napa cabbage right here. Um, then we have a, a variety called Famosa cabbage. They're kind of ruffly leaved. You can see the ruffles on some of these smaller leaves. Um, and then, let's see. We've got, we just went through and cultivated all these yesterday. Because we knew the rain was coming. So, um, we head up here. That should change over to the tender sweet. I believe right here. So, that'll be the last of the... And then these are the tender sweet from here, kind of heading up. Um, we're doing pretty good. And then let's bounce to the other side real quick. We still have the Fenbergs here. Um, and these are kohlrabi. These are doing very well. Um, kohlrabi and then there's some of the red cabbage I believe which we saw some of the uh, those cabbage that got the damage on them some of them were the red cabbage and some broccoli um, broccoli I don't think will make it we'll have to wait and see what happens on those um, we have um, Swiss chard, Swiss chard all over here. Oh, there's another row. Okay. Oh, these are probably the red ones. These are probably the red ones here. Yeah. Um. So at the end of the rows, we put our uh, Swiss chard. We got Swiss chard there, Swiss chard here, Swiss chard here. And then this row we have some of the kale going up there. And let's walk back over here to our big greenhouse. Um, and do a quick walk through in there. We've got uh, cherry tomatoes. We have the tomato berries, we have the super sweet cherry, we have the golden nuggets, and we have the Moscovich, which is the heirloom um, we grow every year. So, that's a big old sucker right there. Let me pull that off. Um, we could poke that in the ground and he'll probably grow. Um, so these are, you can see they're loaded with blooms already. Um, we're hoping we'll have some tomatoes on them. See there's a lot of blooms down in there. These are probably up to my hip, so they're probably three feet high. Um, there's some random stuff in here too, some, some random lettuce that uh, volunteered. This is a volunteer, probably a turnip. Looks like there's a a collard so we're we're getting a uh, <clears throat> our weeds are starting to be actual um, plants you know um, there's some Swiss chard over on the other side I'll show you so this is where we ran into the plants that got a little bit of frost damage you know they're still tomato plants they're a little behind but they'll catch up in a few weeks 
um, and all these ones get right up to the ceiling they'll grow all the way up those strings these ones we don't support because they don't get that tall um, these are the gold nuggets so then we have the heirloom over here we are in the middle of getting the strings up on those and here's some of that Swiss chard that's been volunteering to come up um, so that's our high tunnel for now we need to get back in here and do some more suckering they're starting to get some big ones on there and we don't want those um, they'll just slow us down and we want to get our tomatoes out of here as soon as possible keep it down to a single stem to grow up those strings each one will grow up the string to the ceiling and uh, we'll just wrap it around every couple days well while we're out here we'll go check on our um, asparagus patch I think we have about 600 plants out here we're gonna put another 100 plants out this year um, just to start filling in the edges where we have a little bit more room um, here I can see some already there's a nice one that's a nice asparagus there um, here's one we we'll won't harvest them tonight. We have to harvest them every day because they uh, grow so quickly. Here's a couple. They'll grow a foot in a day. So um, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, we might have ten rows of them out here. And I think there's 76 in each row. Um, so then there's our, our log yard where we have our shiitake mushrooms over there. Um, that'll be an exciting thing to have. And we're going to walk down here to the other end, check out our garlic, and, uh, and then wrap it up for the day. Um, go in and get this video loaded. Um, I made a video earlier on the camera, but it takes, it says it's going to take an hour and a half for the video to load, and then an hour and a half for the second part of the video to load, and I'm trying to get this email out, um, so that I'd like to make a delivery tomorrow, you know, and, uh, I'm trying to get the email out as soon as I can, um, so this is our garlic. Then you can see where I, these first couple rows, I covered them with straw, and then I put um, leaves in the centers, and they're looking really good. And these ones I didn't put the straw on, so we're going to have to come in, and, and this stuff comes out pretty easy, we'll just have to come in and grab it out. So that's pretty, pretty easy going stuff. But um, that's the, that straw will keep them weeds down until uh, we're ready to pick it. Um, I mean, we'll pick that by July 1st um, before the July rain comes. And uh, the weeds will, they'll probably grow some weeds in there, but it won't be so bad. In here is kind of a. A mess but there actually is this is uh these are actually leeks growing in there they're kind of hard to see they look like grass and then we have this was our summer lettuce or our winter lettuce here um we'll harvest some of that and um up here um this is the remnants from last year's garden um or part of it so we have some cilantro here that is trying to go to seed and we'd like to harvest this and get it out to you because uh, once it goes to seed it won't be worth much and we have a little bit of kale here too um, a little bit of kale over there that we're going to try and get out to some people um, but I think that's going to finish us up for now 
Um, there's nothing planted up over the hill yet. Um, we're getting ready to do some mowing and, and soil prep over there to uh, start getting planted. Um, not sure what we're going to plant out there yet, but we have plenty of ground left still. And uh, we're going to keep planting until, until we can't no more, until October. And then we'll start planting that high tunnel back there again. And uh, yeah. yeah, we got all these onions. We have red, yellow, and white onions. Um, three rows there, another row, and then some, probably enough to do one more row. And that is, that's our tour for today. Alright.